Hi, this is Kevin for Pixiver.com. So what we're looking at here is the render of the last document that we're working on. It's a three second animation. And what I want to draw your attention to is that even though we're working at a quality level of just three, ray trace quality level of just three, the overall effect is pretty decent. But when you stop it at particular frames, let's say around there, you can definitely see some noise in the text there. But overall, for a five minute render, I think that looks pretty decent. So when you want to do test renders, always drop the quality level down to something manageable and you're going to get really quick, pretty decent quality renders to uh, evaluate your work. What I want to do is to look at some other quality issues. This is actually a video that I rendered out and I brought it into After Effects. I'm going to switch this video off and we'll look at the project itself. This is the project itself and you might have noticed well, I hope you notice that there is a bit of a difference there. The movie that we rendered just looks a lot more impressive than the project. And I'm going to stop it around there and just switch off the movie. And this kind of difference in the quality, I would imagine, is evident at every single point in this particular movie. So we're getting strong reflections, strong lighting with the rendered movie but our project shows fairly dull lighting and dull reflections. What's the difference? What's going on here? Now, if we go to the project tab and go all the way down, you'll see that this is an 8-bit project. That's because when I opened this, I dropped it from 32 bits to 8 bits. The original was in 32 bit. So the difference we're seeing here is 32 bits, 8 bit. And this effect, I would imagine, is accentuated by the fact that I'm using an HDR image as the environment layer that helps to bring out a bit of punch in those reflections. It's quite a difference, I'm sure you'll agree. That's a quality issue, but it's also a practicality issue. 32 bit mode is not always practical. A lot of filters don't work in 32 bit mode, and that's something that Adobe are working on, but it's still a long way from, you know, a situation where 32 bit mode is the default. What I would say is this is such a simple three second animation. There is absolutely no harm in trying out 32-bit mode. There's another issue of quality that I haven't looked at, which is aliasing. Now, if we zoom in, aliasing is basically to do with all this kind of edgy detail, the sort of detail that you find at the edge of the letters, at the edge of any 3D object. You will get, yeah, you'll get kind of like stair stepping, and that's aliasing. Anti-aliasing is a way of tackling that. There is an option within the ray traced settings to change the aliasing. Let's click there and you'll see that what we've got here is the ray tracing quality of 3 which gives us this pretty decent render. Um, I would want to increase that to around 10 or 11. That will take a lot longer to render but what I would find is that any problems with the aliasing would also be diminished even if I didn't change the settings here. At the moment I've got no anti-aliasing going on. Now what Adobe recommend is that as you go down this list you get better anti-aliasing plus it takes longer to render so there's a balance to be found there now, I'm not gonna recommend that you ignore the advice that Adobe are giving you here but I would definitely recommend that you use your own judgment about which setting is best for your project good old-fashioned trial and error and I have to admit on one or two occasions when I've moved down the list quality of the anti-aliasing hasn't been that impressive so definitely use your own judgment when it comes to anti-aliasing that's basically it on the quality options I mean you might agree with some of what I say when you try out After Effects and you try out these things or you might come up with your own opinion but uh, that's just a few things that I think might be helpful to help you uh, know what to look out for and just to be aware of some of the issues to do with quality. For this particular project, um, I'm not sure what I'm going to do next. I might work on some of the keyframing, might do a bit of color correction, but you know, it's taken about an hour to put this together, just a few minutes to render it. And to be honest with you, I think that's pretty impressive. And um, that's basically going to be it for this. Um, I hope you found that useful. If you did, please comment, rate the video, subscribe for more videos. But that's it for the time being. Take care. See you later. Bye.